All right, it's Saturday morning and I am off to Parts Unknown. Uh, gonna go buy something that I found on the interwebs and I'm gonna pick it up and bring it back. Alrighty, we are on our way. So anyway, this, uh, this thing I'm going to go get is uh, quite a ways south of here, so it's down south of Columbus. So it's going to be you know, a couple hour drive. And I told the guy to be there between noon and one, and it is almost 10 o'clock now, so I better be scouting. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's my cornfield, one of them. It's looking pretty close. All right, well, I got it. I'm on my way home. So, what is it? Well, um, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, but look out the back window, you can see it on the trailer, sorta. See it on the trailer, there it is. So, good luck trying to figure out what that is. All right, well, I made it home, and wow, is it windy out here today. Look at up there in the trees, man, that wind is just blowing. That's fall in Ohio for you. So anyway, I took a little trip down south, uh, south of Columbus, um, somewhere down there, off way off the beaten path, because this place was out in the country, man. And um, I saw this advertised on um, Marketplace last uh, last night, yesterday afternoon, actually. And uh, when I got home last night, I uh, went ahead and uh, messaged the guy about it. And, turns out that uh, I was able to get it and what I got is this wagon gear and it's a John Deere um, the guy just got done putting brand new tires on it and the wheels are brand new too um, 12 plies uh, it should last a good long time this thing is tight it's been all greased up it's ready to go and I'm going to put my biggest gravity box on it so that I have something reliable to, uh, to haul the grain to uh, the elevator with. Well, there's all the scrap from rebuilding the corn head. Look at all that good scrap and metal there. Oh yeah, all the parts and pieces. All of them worn out and not very useful anymore. So anyway, here's what it looks like before I put the sheet metal back on it. And that's what they look like all put together. I know some of you might be trying to do this yourselves, and if you forgot how to put them together, I'll get you a nice good close-up on how this is supposed to look. At least I think that's how it's supposed to look. So that's how your tensioner works. Looks in that way when the you can see it moving. So, one, two, three, and four. Four rows. All right. So, I'm off to go dump this over at the neighbor's house. He's got a scrap pile, and he's not afraid to let me use it. So, uh, we're going to go. So I'm out here over the neighbor's house. I was dumping off all the scrap metal from rebuilding in the corn head. And my one of my cornfields is right here. So let's go take a look and see what we got. I'm in a couple of rows here now. Ah, there's a lot of ears. There's a lot of ears. Look at that. Well, it actually looks pretty good. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Look at that. Doesn't look too bad. That's a pretty big sized ear there. Look at that sucker. These things are still standing up. They're not hanging down yet at all, hardly. Looks like we got a couple of them that are. Look how high that one is on the. <laughs> all right so this is where this ear is 
and I'm six foot tall, so that's right at about five feet. That's up there pretty high. Look how tall this stuff is. Oh my gosh. I can reach almost eight feet. And this stuff is, some of it is nine feet high. Wow. That's some pretty big corn. Take a, take a look at a few more here. Here's one. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, ah, look at that. That looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and take this one with us. I don't think it's dry. It doesn't feel super dry, though. Let's see here. Oh, I can't really get a good view on it. Ah, break it in half. All right, so. What we got here is, we'll start with this one. Come around to that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen rows around. And I goofed up here and I didn't uh, count this right, so maybe I can get a. There, you know. Let's try and count the. Count how many kernels. And we'll start a couple up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, so I'm going to say 38. <laughs> um, that's not too bad. 16 by 38. I don't know. I'm not doing the math. I'll do the math when I get home on that. So anyway, I think I'm probably, thinking I should probably go ahead and pick a couple of these. And take them with me, and uh, maybe I can go find somebody that can give me a moisture test on them. We're in a couple more rows here. Looks like uh, well, a couple of these have gotten knocked down by somebody. There's one right there. That's... I know. I'm sorry. I got you. I got you all excited about checking out the corn and I'm not even focusing on any of it here let's get this stuff off of there so there's a random ear that's a little smaller but still looks pretty nice let's see let's go down here a little ways let's see what we got here I just grabbed this one what I'm trying to do is grabbing a few that are that I can shell out and then uh, get them tested see what see what my moisture is on them I don't even know if anybody I know has a moisture tester I can borrow. Let's skip through another couple of rows here. Let's see, these were the 12 outside rounds. Now let's see what we got down the middle here. Woo! Got a lot of fall grass coming up in here. But I kind of knew that was going to happen. I didn't do a very good job of getting this stuff filled up. Um, hell, I'm lucky I've got any corn at all in here how bad this thing was when I got done with it. Well, we've got corn. Look at that. There's another ear. It's kind of small, but there's a lot of them. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? This section is where I ran out of starter fertilizer. And you can tell, too, because it's not very tall. <laughs> Because over here in this, in these rows here, where I didn't run out of starter fertilizer, there's quite a lot of corn here. That doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. It's still standing pretty strong. Maybe we'll go down a few a little ways here and see if we can get get a little more. Maybe get somewhere to. Where the fertilizer is not run out. We'll get down into the main part of the field here, get away from these. Get away from these starter rows. Yeah. 
Now, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's kind of small. This this point is small down through here. Yeah. Pretty small. Really small. Now it's only head high. Well, I guess we'll see how it turns out. I'm losing an ear here underneath my arm. I think I ought to probably grab one more ear to see. Okay, so we're here to put the sheet metal on this corn head, and I'm looking at it. Actually, right now I'm just looking at the outside, the outside pieces, and I can't remember how it came off. <laughs> so I'm not sure how it goes on. Uh, this could take a minute, so I don't know. Maybe I'll set you up here, and you can watch me flail. Okay, so I realized that I had forgotten to uh, show you guys that this thing actually runs. And I haven't actually run it yet any either. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the combine and start it up and we'll watch all these things go around. So. Ow, I just hit my head on something. All right, let's see here. Little, little throttle. Let's turn on the key.
had a real loud squealing noise up in the grain tank and so I decided that the bearings were bad on the uh, loading auger here so I took that all apart and I'm gonna replace those bearings um, I don't have those just yet I did put them on order and paid for them actually at the local John Deere dealer um, and they uh, probably have them waiting waiting for me here already and I need to run down there and grab them okay here it is horn head all done at least as done as it's gonna get because corn harvest is coming up quick Ooh, new green paint I put it on here hoping that it'll spread we'll see what happens just a reminder if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and then get down there and hit that lump thumbs up button and uh, and leave a comment and let me know how you think I'm doing because uh, you know I'm new with this I'm doing the best I can with what I got and I'm learning as we go so all right everybody have a great day